We've got an exclusive new look at one of the drivers of America's fentanyl crisis. The Drug Enforcement Administration says the machines known as pill presses can make lots and lots of potentially deadly drugs. Now, these devices have been widely available online, and the DEA is now cracking down. Nicole Skanga shows us exactly how they work. This is the latest front in the DEA's war on drugs, a high-speed pill press machine. This one is very fast. 6,000 fentanyl pills in yeah. one hour. Correct. Hundreds of machines like it were seized by federal law enforcement last year. In a duplex turned drug lab, DEA says agents discovered these presses in New York City last October and also seized 200,000 suspected fentanyl pills. In the last six months, we've seized pill presses in New York, in Massachusetts, in Mississippi, in Kentucky. That includes pill presses purchased online, according to DEA Administrator Ann Milgram. Last month, eBay agreed to pay the Department of Justice $59 million after the e-commerce site allegedly fell short of identifying and reporting pill press purchases required under federal law. Who is buying these pill presses online? We have drug traffickers across the United States who are buying the pill presses. They have fentanyl and they're using that fentanyl to make them into these fake pills. Last year, U.S. Customs and Border Protection say they seized more than 5,700 pill presses or parts associated, including dyes and punches. DEA has found that roughly 7 out of 10 fentanyl pills tested at labs like this one contain a potentially lethal dose of the drug. Complicating an epidemic now memorialized at DEA's headquarters. And just here you see a four-year-old and then here there's a seven-year-old. Yeah, that's James Cox. He is the oldest person on the faces of fentanyl wall right now, forever 70. Sparing no demographic in America. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia.